Marmots. You may have heard them called Spokane's unofficial mascot, and if you haven't, well, now you have. These little creatures can be found out basking, doing their thing, scurrying about. And in the summer, they come out in numbers. Chances are, with their penchant for flattening down on the rocks and holding dead still, you may have passed them without even noticing. Well, fear not. We did the hard work for you. Hawk Hammer spent the day chasing down these rodents, and he has a story you won't see anywhere else. Hawk, it turns out there's a surprising statistic about these little guys. Aaron, turns out it's not bears, it's not cougars, it's not even moose that get the most calls into our region's Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife. It's marmots. Marmots, yeah. They're pretty cute, uh, but they can cause some trouble as well. Behold, one of Spokane's most fearsome critters. Kinda. Maybe not. <laughs> I had never heard of a marmot, and then I moved out here. Now she's gotten the full dose. I need to be cultured in my rodents. We've got you covered. These yellow-bellied marmots, sometimes called whistle pigs or rock chucks, or groundhogs by Midwestern transplants, having popped up out of hibernation for the season, they have a lot going on this time of year. Usually see them, um, like, next to the river or next to big rocky formations. On the to-do list, teaching the young ones where to nibble, where to take the best sun bath, and of course, guarding their burrows, dashing down if someone unpleasant is nearby. They also leave little markers as proof of their presence. I think they're cute and fuzzy. And this fellow nature lover says they're cute as can be, especially their little gallop. But sometimes they get a little too comfortable. I mean, they seem to be like pesty, but I haven't heard too much about them. But the Department of Fish and Wildlife has upwards of 20 calls a week come in this time of year. People looking for advice on what to do with these sometimes persistent neighbors. The expert advice to keep them from burrowing under your home, put up some wire fencing around your place and make sure it goes down or out three feet. And remember where these critters like to live. A retaining wall or landscaping with boulders is likely to look like home sweet home. Home. But for those not battling a colony, we see you golf courses. They're just mulling on grass. They're just poking around. They can be an endless delight with their going-ons until once again they head back down into hibernation. And a reminder from the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife, there's a lot to appreciate about marmots, but if you are fed up with them, remember they can't be trapped and relocated without a permit. So if you need help with them, give the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife a call or a licensed wildlife removal company. Reporting live, Hawk Hammer, KFCY 4 News.